Hi and welcome, this is Eric and today I'm going to show you guys how to extract data from a flat file to a data warehouse. So we'll be using three components. Uh, first one is a data flow task, which helps us to move data from the source and destination and also helps us to transform, clean and modify data as we are moving it. The second one is a file, flat source. Um, this helps us to read data from a text file. Okay, so the text file I'm talking about is this one here. We have uh, employee ID, employee name, and hire date, and this is the information. And we do have all the bid destination we'll be using. This we'll be using um, to load data into uh, all the bees used to load data into various uh, component databases uh, for for our case we'll be using sql server management studio and we're gonna go ahead and create a uh, like a, a data warehouse um, um, database and then a table and then we'll be loading data in there so let's go to work so i have opened my visual studio uh, if you you like to know how to open uh, Visual Studio, just go ahead and watch my previous video. My assumption is you have already installed um, Visual Studio and SSIS. So you should be able to see something like this here SQL Server Integration Services and the Green Check. So to create a new project, you go to File, Create New Project. You may have to search here but for my case i do have it in my recent project so once you search you'll see integration service project we do have the wizard but uh we will use our integration services click next name your project so i'm gonna say this is etl demo Okay, so I'm gonna choose the location here. Um, you can save anywhere you want. I'll create a separate folder for it. Select the folder. I'm gonna leave the same uh, solution name as the project name. And then go ahead and hit create. Give it a couple of seconds for it to generate the project. And then in here you'll see the project. So the windows which are really important, we do have a lot of them we can close. Uh, property is important, but just find Solution Explorer and SSI Toolbox and Connection Manager. Now, all the windows you can close or just ignore them for now. Okay, even the variable won't be using them for this project. So, looking around, uh, first of all, you will see Solution Explorer, SSL Toolbox. This is where uh, most of uh, objects are going to be. So, Solution Explorer, if you don't see it, you have to go to View and you have to select Solution Explorer, which will pop up. And these, they can move around and all that. Um, just like to put mine on the right hand side okay so as you can see the package has already been opened and we are on the control flow so under package here uh, we do have solution name we do have uh, project name under SSS packages we do have our package so you can go ahead and name your package if you wish so I'll say uh, right click and rename i'm gonna say because it's flat file so so this i'll say flat file uh data load or uh, data extraction gonna click ok yes to all now i usually like to use sequence container and sequence containers group everything together 
that way you can see um, objects okay so the first task as I, I was telling you guys uh, we have to use data flow task so these icons may change depending on the version you're in and they may be somewhere um, anywhere um, sometimes they Microsoft moves uh, them around depending on the version so I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop data flow task I'll rename it to load employees employee information you can give an uh, description name so that you know what your uh, data flow does so when I go inside the data flow you can see the uh, toolbox items changes so in here um, the next uh, object you'll be using is um, flat file source okay because we'll be extracting our data from uh, our text file here so I'll go to other sources I will pull flat file source and you're gonna see it's a big red X meaning uh, the information or the, the the source has not been configured yet you can see it doesn't have a connection manager so first I'll rename this so I'll right click and hit rename and I'll say um, get employees just gonna say get employees and I'm gonna double click to configure it right now I don't have any connection manager I'll go ahead and I create a new connection manager and you can tell here um, it tells you what to do really so just for instruction over it tells you to select a valid file name so uh, I'm going to rename this to employee connection manager go to browse and I'm going to look for where I put my file I think it's the file and I have my file here and now you can see um, the message it tells me columns are not defined so I'm going to go ahead and click on columns I'll see my columns aligned really good I'll click OK and I'll go just here to columns to verify my information I need all this information so I'll click OK so the next thing here I'm going to use already be destination this helps us load it into a various database for us would be um, loading data into the uh, SQL server so first of all we need to create our warehouse really quick so we create a database here you um, in master so I'll use master database if you don't know why I did this please watch my previous video on how to create a database and I'll create a database using the script so uh, we'll say create database and um, the database name I'll call test DB warehouse I'll execute my command and I'll double check if my database exists I'll refresh and I do have my database right now it doesn't have any tables so I know I need a table and I need um, three columns so I'll go ahead and uh, write a script to curate a table and I'll call my table uh, yeah employees find and probably I will use uh, just a few of these columns so I need employee ID I need hire date and I need employee name I don't need all this again if you don't know how to create a table um, there are two ways one of them is using the script and then another way is to use um, 
graphic user interface so you can right click and go here new and add a table but again if you don't know how to watch my previous videos on how to create a table so i'm going to double check in my file i got the correct column names and i do have employee id employee name and hire date so here the name of employee um, i want it to be vaca i'll say 50. So it looks good. I'll go ahead and execute this and I'll create my table into my test DB warehouse. So if you execute my command, uh, it runs successful. If you refresh my tables, I should be able to see my table here. And if I select a thousand rows, there is no data. So we're gonna go back to our Visual Studio and add OLDB destination. So make sure it's not a OLDB source. Go to destination and then select OLDB destination. And I'll rename here, I'm gonna say, right click and rename. I'm gonna say load employees, load employee. Okay. So I will go back to my flat file source and you can tell I do have two arrows. There's a blue arrow and red arrow. Red arrow is for errors, but for now, um, don't worry about it. I'll cover this in the next videos. So click on the blue arrows, uh, drag all the way to your load employee or the video destination and click to connect. Once you connect, you're going to still see the red big X. Again, if you over it, it means uh, you need to configure connection manager. So go, double, go ahead and double click to create a new connection manager. Click new to co uh, connect um, to create a connection manager. These are my previous connection manager used. I don't see test warehouse. So go ahead and click new. And you have to type in your server name. If you don't know what your server name is, if you're using um, uh, Visual Studio, I mean SSMS, you can go ahead and uh, go to connect databases. And this should be a server name where you're connecting using your SQL Server Management Studio. Again, if you don't know, watch my previous, uh, watch my previous videos on how to find out what your computer name is. I'm gonna leave as it is authentication, Windows authentic uh, Windows authentic authentication. Talking too fast here. And again, if you are using um, username and password, uh, you will have to use username and password. You have to change to use SQL Server authentication. We're gonna select our new database uh, and it's test warehouse. And again, if you don't see it, you just create it, just hit refresh. But I'm gonna go ahead and test my connection. If it's successful, that's good. If it's not, you have to stop and make sure your test connection succeeds. So I'm gonna click OK and OK. I'll select my destination. And then I'll select my table. I do have only one table, which is employees. Now, the only issue it's telling us is map the column mappings. So we're gonna go to mappings and we're gonna have to match the source. This is the source and this is the destination. And it map chaps for us because the names are exactly the same. But if the columns names are different, uh, you're gonna have to map them yourself. And you're gonna have to use either the um, arrows over here the drop down or i'm gonna disconnect this so i can show you i'm gonna delete or you can click from the source and connect to a destination click ok and you can see the eyes being gone here so 
with all the credit of package here the next step is to execute the package so to execute the package you go to packages and uh, solution explorer you right click and say execute so this looks like it went successful and we have five rows that we inserted in the database so we have to confirm this okay um, to confirm you go back to your um, test warehouse database and you select that table on page it did have no records before now we execute we saw it we see our records here so um, if you do have any errors you have to go to progress and you can scroll down if you see a big x it, um, you're gonna have to read what it says and you're gonna have to troubleshoot and configure you should see these two x and you should see to um, the source and destination like green check marks so in this video i'll show you guys how to extract data from a flat file we did have a text file i think it was comma separated to a data warehouse um, thank you very much you guys have a nice day